guys, this is me, Thriftastic Mom, and today is your lucky day because I am here to share with you my 2020 Christmas home decor tour video. I have went through the house several weeks now. I started early November setting out all of my things, and if you can't tell already what the theme is, red truck theme this year, um... Hence the pillow also. <laughs> I have a new Christmas tray I want to show you that I purchased. So sit back and relax and get ready to view all of my beautiful red trucks I have in my home this year. I got this cute little red truck. I put my um, Dawn in it that I normally just wash dishes with. I just pump it out when I need it. I got this at Big Lots and I actually bought another one to go in my bathroom in there because I thought they were so cute since I'm going with the red truck theme. So I got that there. Okay, down here on my counter, I just put this little merry and bright sign. I just like, like to hang little signs here and there, things I have. I think I got that at Dollar General for a couple bucks. So I just hung it on that cabinet. Bottom of my cabinet, I just got this Merry Christmas rug. With the red truck on it. And then up here by my stove. I picked this up at the Dollar General. I just thought it was really cute. It says Joy, Hope, Love, Blessings, and Merry Christmas. And this little bow. I found this, I think, at a thrift store. And I just kind of, it come like that. And I just kind of laid that bow right there on it. Just to add a little more red and green to it. Didn't even glue it on or anything. Now over here on my stove, I had to set out my little train set that I had out last year just because I just love it. I just think it's so cute. And it's red and green. A lot of my colors are red and green. So I thought, why not? So I went ahead and just set those out. And then up here, some of you may remember I bought this piece of wood, this shelf. It was a, like a gray color at the thrift store and I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but this is what I decided to do with that. I did paint it a different color and the reef on here I actually picked up at a thrift store and that ornament and then I just glued the reef onto it, glued the ornament onto the reef. I stuck in some cotton cones and red berries and that's what I came up with and then I just set a little small red truck on that just to tie in the red truck theme and I actually picked up this little spoon holder here with the red truck on it. I think I got this at Big Lots. Not 100% sure, but I think it was Big Lots for a few bucks. So pick that up just to have a little bit more red truck tied in. Here on my microwave, I actually just put out this tin again that I used last year and this little recipe holder. I just love these things. I just think they're so cute setting up here. I love that tin, so I thought, why not just set it on out? The red and green matches all the other red and green in here. So, y'all know me. I love my traditional colors. So, I went ahead and set that on out on my microwave. Okay, and then up here on the wall, normally I have a welcome sign, but... I had purchased this at the Burlington Coat Factory. It was just like a little, I guess you call it like a little charcuterie board. Charcuterie board, I'm not sure how you say that. I thought it was cute and I would just use it as home decor. So I took and put a hook on my back and just hung it on the wall here. It says, Peace on Earth. Just to have a little something up there and I took that welcome sign down. I always like to have something hanging up there. Over here under my cabinet next to my refrigerator, I always have my Keurig. So I try to set up a little hot cocoa bar. And this year I just kind of went simple with it. I did hang up this new sign that I had got at the thrift store. It says, warm up here, hot cocoa bar served daily. So I just kind of hung that on the wall. Set out a little red and white striped cup, put a couple candy canes, a couple spoons in that. And this hot cocoa jar here, I found it at the thrift store, so I filled it full of some powdered hot cocoa that I have. And then there's just my little Keurig 
cup holder. It's got hot chocolates and caramel and different things on it. But this is pretty much all I wanted to do with it this year. Just keep it simple because this space is really very small. So I can't put a whole lot on it. By the way, I thought it turned out really cute. Just a little hot cocoa bar. And then down here on the bottom of that, I just hung out this beautiful little kitchen towel. I actually got this for Christmas last year from my oldest son and daughter-in-law. And it's got A for my last name with the red truck. And I thought, so cute, so appropriate. And I saved it for this year so I could put it out as decor and use it in my red truck thing. So it's really cute hanging there. I wanted to show you this area on top, over the top of my fridge. I always try to decorate this area. And I thought it turned out so cute. I found that picture and that plate at the thrift store, I think on different, different occasions. But I went ahead and picked them up because I just loved how they look. I just set the plate up there. And in the middle there is a little ornament candle with some trees. I put a little bit of uh, floor arrangement into the picture. And I got my Norman Rockwell Christmas book that Chris and Rose gave me a couple years ago for Christmas. And actually that little red thing on top of that book is one of my pictures. I just laid it down to add some height. And it worked out perfectly because it's red and got a little bit of touch of green in it. And then I just took and got this clear vase out and decided to put some ornaments in that to kind of um, match those colors just to have something on top of the actual fridge itself. But I love this little spot. I did think about putting up some lights back there behind it, but I just haven't took the time to go buy any and put any up. But I may do that. I don't know yet, but because it's a little bit darker over in this left corner here. But isn't that so cute? I just love that. It looks so cute when you walk in. So now let's talk about this china cabinet. Y'all know I always dress up this china cabinet a little. I did just kind of stick all of my coffee cups. You can't see them all, of course, because I put that hand towel up there with the red truck on it, which I think I got that at big lots I think but I decided to just display some of my cups where you can see those because I pretty much use this for my dishes so I have to leave those in there but I do like to add a little pops of color so I did add the little Merry Christmas pillow and on top I just took and added my Noel sign, this little red truck that I picked up at the Dollar General, my snowman, I just love that snowman so I had to put him out, and then this white lantern I actually picked up from a Goodwill one day and I threw in a flickering fake candle in there with some red and green berries and set that up there. Draw it in a little closer so you can see the berries in the candle. Really cute. I love that snowman. And my little red truck. Trying to, trying to keep keep with the red truck theme going. That was super cute. Really cute. I love it. Oh, those plates right here. I found those at the Goodwill outlet about two weeks ago. They're Pioneer Woman. So I got four plates and two bowls. But I thought they were pretty. I couldn't leave them. Really nice plates and bowls there. So I picked those up. I think I give about two bucks for all of them, y'all. Got a real good deal on them. Okay, guys. As you know, I had a galvanized tray and I told you I wanted to get a different kind because it's kind of deep and I just didn't like it so I went to TJ Maxx after seeing somebody on YouTube getting a really good price on a tray and I picked up this tray 
and I loved it because the wood kind of matches the colors of my wood in here. And it was only $19.99. And this is how I decorated it. I kind of wanted one that didn't have like something like this up there, but they didn't have one with just the wood. So I thought this one was cute. And you can actually see through this, so it you know works out pretty good that way. But I just put my little Jesus is the reason for the season. Little bowl with just an ornament. Little green tree. This is just a little dish or candy dish or something. It says Merry Christmas. And then I had got these two striped candles. I just threw them at the back to have a little bit of height and a little bit of color back there. I'm not going to light them or anything. I just really got them for the candy cane look. And then up top, I put my little red truck with some pine cones. My little snowman there. That's actually a measuring cup set. Thought he looked cute sitting there. Got a cup with some berries. And of course, I had to put my little charcuterie board in there. With the little believe sign. And just another little ornament and some greenery. And it just turned out so cute, I think. I got the berries in that um, cup that says Making Spirits Bright. That was like a Dollar Tree cup. Okay guys, I wanted to show you this shelf. This is new and I have it over by my door here where my bells are hanging. Right beside my door, my TV. But I picked this shelf up at the Goodwill. It was 20 bucks. It was black, so I brought it home. Got me some spray paint and painted it and this is what I came up with. I think it's so cute. I've always wanted a shelf like this in here. But I got those trees from the Dollar General. And I already had that little um, ornament there in the middle. It's like a candle ornament. That Merry Christmas sign came from Burlington. If you remember, I mentioned in another video that I tried to do a Burlington haul and it just didn't work out because my camera was having issues. Well, I did get a few new pieces from Burlington and that was one of them. On the second shelf, I just got my red lantern. And I took a red basket that I already had and just threw in some greenery and this cute little sign that says have yourself a merry little christmas with the bike i got that from a thrift store um, i had that another cute little red truck there i just kind of sent in the front and i think i got that little red and green plaid handkerchief from the thrift store so i threw that in there okay, on this third shelf i just recently picked up this fresh cut christmas tree sign at the thrift store a couple days ago so I took some Velcro and stuck that up in there. And that's my red truck that I already had. Those little red books are, they say merry and bright. I got those from Burlington for just a couple bucks, like $3.99. And then that little tree and that little galvanized tin I had found at the thrift store on two different occasions. But I just stuck that tree in that little galvanized tin. And I just thought it turned out super cute. And then on the bottom, this is a basket that I had got at Burlington just because it had the red truck on it. And I just put some greenery in that. And these little wood pieces that are laying in there, I found those at the thrift store. So I laid those in there. A little ornament. And uh, stuck in some berries and caught it done. And that's pretty much it. And I think it's super cute. A nice little shelf. I love it. And after Christmas is over, I'll be able to put pictures and some of my regular decor on it to spruce it up a little bit. But I think it is just so cute in here. I love it. And I just got a little wall clock. I actually found that at the thrift store too. And I like that the wood color on it matches the wood in here in my trailer. So I got that and put it up over that. Mm -hmm. 
just kind of simple I had got this pillow I don't remember if I bought that pillow on clearance or if I got it at a thrift store but it's a really nice pillow it says Merry Christmas red truck theme of course and I only had that one so I thought I'd just throw it in the middle of my couch and then leave my two regular red pillows on my couch just to kind of coordinate with it and then I found that red throw. I forget exactly what store I found it at, but um, it's really soft and silky. And I just kind of threw it on my couch too, just to add a little more red. That couch is dark, so it, it needs a pop of color, you know? So I liked kind of how that turned out. Just simple, but red and festive. Up here. These are my little shelves that I always have on my wall, back behind my couch. And I actually, I don't know how good you can tell, but there's a picture of some of the grandkids up there in a little shadow box type frame. It says Jingle All The Way, and it's got bells. Let me see if I can ease you in. There we go. Cute little frame. And I just added a couple of my trees. And then on the second shelf, put that little sign that says home for the holidays with a little bit of berries and an ornament. And then I found these little books. Um, can't remember if I got those at a thrift store or what. But I thought they were cute because they say nutcracker. I stuck my little nutcracker that I got for Christmas last year. This was something that's been handed down in the family and they handed it down to me. And it's a fisherman nutcracker because if you don't know, my husband loves to fish and I like to fish too, but not as much as he does. But just because he's a little fisherman nutcracker, I thought he was so cute. So I kind of put those books beside him just because it says the nutcracker. And then I stuck a little shiny red truck on that. It's really an ornament, but I, st I stuck it up there. But I thought it turned out super cute. Here on my coffee table, I just have this galvanized tray. Stuck a little red truck in it that I picked up at Burlington. This actually has holes in it for scent because it's got a little scent bag up in it. it smells like pine trees. Um, I smelled it for the first day or two, but I really can't smell it anymore. So I just put a little flickering candle under it, and it just kind of lights up through the holes at night. And threw in a couple pine cones, and just this little green tree, and that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. I, didn't, I don't like putting a lot on my little table here, just because I like to be able to move this when the kids come over and they sit around here and um, eat off of this table because it's a pretty big table. I mean, it's almost as wide as my, my kitchen table. And they also open some of their gifts on this table. So I just keep it where I can just pick this up and move it and get it out of the way. I do have my coasters over here. It's just little red truck coasters. Let me show them to you. I got these at Dollar General a while back. Merry Christmas, y'all. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Tis the season. And local farm Christmas trees. Fir, spruce, and pine. So I thought those were really cute. And they all have the little red trucks on them. And I had to put Merry Christmas y'all at the top because that's kind of my my saying. Hey y'all. So I just got those on there so that they could put their drinks and waters or whatever on that. So that's pretty much all I have on my coffee table. It's pretty simple. Okay guys, here is my Christmas tree. I actually stuck it in the corner this year. 
next to my couches instead of over by the bar like I normally do and it's good back there I got plenty of room to put gifts around it I thought it turned out super cute it's a little too small y'all I may have to go back to a bigger tree next year because I tried downsizing but every year when I make it branches are falling off and it don't hide the light cords good and I just I don't know I just feel like I need a bigger fuller tree so maybe next year we'll get a new one but I got that little base for the bottom at Walmart and it's okay it ain't nothing to brag about but it was only $11.98 and it looks kind of cute under there I got the red so it would match the red trucks on my tree but that's my tree I went to big lots two different big lots actually because one only had a couple patch left and then luckily I went to another one and found some red trucks so I have plenty of red trucks I even got some on the back of it sometimes you know I'm a little bit more skimpier on the back so people don't see it as much but it does have a few hanging back there I thought it turned out cute I got that ribbon I think from either Dollar General or Dollar Tree I don't remember it's cute guys I am in my bathroom and I just wanted to show you I put some cute little stickers on my mirror just for the kids so when they come in here to use the restroom this is like my little spare restroom it has a cute little stickers to look at which are kind of red truck theme then I have a snowman lantern there but I don't have it lit up because I haven't got a battery to replace yet and the cute little red truck I got my hand soap in it and then down here, I've just got a little bell reef hanging up and another little towel. It says dashing through the snow with the red truck. I almost forgot to show you the bells. I just hung these up on the door and they ring a little bit when people come in and out. Now on the back of the toilet here, I got this cute little tree tree actually has got glitter all in it. I thought it was really cute in the little galvanized tin. And I picked that up at Burlington for like $3.99. And then up on the wall I knew I needed a picture to go up here. And I found this cute picture here at the Dollar General with the tree on it. It says Merry Christmas for $3 y'all. I couldn't believe it was only three bucks. I hurried up and snatched that up really cute to go over to the tree so my thing this year is pretty much red trucks trees and a little bit of splash of snowmen really cute it does pretty much all in here in the bathroom
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my beautiful uh, Christmas ornaments and decorations this year. If you want to go back and check all of my older videos, I think I started doing this in like 2013. I'll put a playlist down below for you guys to go check out all of my past year's different videos of me showing my uh, decorations every year. I kind of enjoy doing this. People like watching it, so I try to change it up every year. So check out that playlist down below to see all of those videos. Also, if you're interested in this shirt, I got this at Walmart for like five dollars and I think ninety six cent. It was less than six bucks. If you want to rock one of these shirts for Christmas holiday. Um, anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments down below. If you have done a video showing your home decorations this year for Christmas, leave me a link down below. I would love to go watch them. Not only do I love making these, I love to watch other people's too. And that kind of gives me inspiration too. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Have a wonderful Christmas. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe um, hit the notification bell. That way you can be notified when I upload a new video. If you're already an internet neighbor of mine, then thank you so much for watching. I love you. And, um, I guess I'm going to go. God bless. Merry Christmas, everybody. See you in my next video. Bye.